Okay guys, every tutorial on trains is literally about an hour long, so let's try and condense it to get you started, hopefully within 10 minutes. Let's jump into it. Firstly, we've got to decide how we want the trains to look. So we can make a standard train with a couple of carriages behind. Second option could be two trains and having the carriages behind. Now this option would just mean they'd be faster, but you'd have to use more fuel as you've got to fuel both of these trains. Third option can be the train, a carriage, and have the train positioned the opposite way. Now, that means we can move the trains left and right. However, it does get super confusing. So just forget both option two and option three. Let's just make it easy and stick with the top. Now for your rail network to work, you need to decide how many carriages each train is going to carry. So for example, we're going to use three here. If you decide you're gonna use three on trains, you will never ever make a train with four carriages. You can make one with two or one, but you will never go over those three. Now, here's why. Once you start putting the train stops down, you'll start making train stops behind it. So that means the next train coming up will be stopping here. So if you had a random train with an extra carriage, it would miss that stop and you'd start to destroy the whole network. So you build your train network around how many carriages your train carries. Right, so to get everything operational, we need to learn signals. We've got a rail chain signal and a chain signal here. I'm gonna call it a chain and a traffic light just to make it easy. Now, when we pick one up, we can see these green boxes and you've got this yellow arrow pointing one way or the other. Now, because this train is obviously traveling right, that means we're gonna get the yellow arrows to travel right. So any signals we're gonna place on this side. And this is all you have to learn with signals. Chain in, traffic light out. So if it comes up to any junction or crossing, we just place a chain before, so in, and then a traffic light after chain in traffic light out now if you also see we can place these on the corners now don't do that just place one before because it starts getting mucked up so one before and then one after now let's see this train is traveling down so we have to do a train in and the yellow arrows are pointing down so we always place on this side chain in traffic light out and that's how you do it. Okay, let's just extend the examples. So we've got a train traveling right here. So chain in, traffic light out. Simple. We'll make it a little bit more complicated. The train is still traveling right. Chain in, traffic light out, out and out. Simple. Okay, let's just make this slightly a bit more complicated. We've got our train traveling right, and we've got our train traveling down here. We wanna make some new tracks. So how does this all work? So let's just delete everything. So firstly, we've got our chain in. Now, because this train can't fit inside this area, we just continue the chain. So chain in chain in traffic light out so chain in chain in traffic light out chain in chain in traffic light out get that so now we have to do the train going down so chain in for here it can't fit between either of these areas. So we need to just put a chain, chain, and then traffic light out. And there you've got a working network. Now what happens if we can actually fit the train inside a crossing like this? So let's start putting it together. This train's going down, so chain in here. We can't fit the train inside here, so continue the chain. 
and then traffic light out. We'll go to the beginning. The train's traveling right, so chain in, out for both of these directions, and then same here. So chain in for both, chain and chain, traffic light out and out. Now, everything's working, but I'm just, for this example, going to block here so we can stop a train there. So let's send the first train in. And there it goes. So we'll stop here. Now let's send in the second train. And it stops there. Now, we can make this better by adding a traffic light here. And it's just going to move to the next stop because we can fit more trains in you can just add traffic lights behind. There's no point adding one there because it's not going to fit unless we had a train that was possibly one carriage. So this is what I was talking about from the start. If you had a random carriage that had like six carriages, it would totally screw up this whole system. So stick with the goddamn carriages you decided at the start. So here's actually a little tip that will speed things up. So we've got this chain in the middle here and where is the actual best place to put it because we can place it anywhere along here. So I'll just dump it there and have an example. So if I've got a train, look at this light. Once it passes the chain, it turns green. So that means the best place to put it is as high as you can get. So it would be there. So once it passes, that's green and a train can already go straight across. So that's going to speed up your whole train network. So I have ruined my life playing this game for far too many hours. So I am going to be making a couple more videos on this topic with trains and if you've got any problems just comment below and I'll try solve them but for now if you would like to subscribe please I do cover all strategy games and base building games but for me that's it goodbye and thank you very much chain in traffic light out chain in traffic light out